guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tupo if you're new here welcome 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 please subscribe like comment give me a thumbs up guys today i'm going to be showing you the easiest way you can achieve box braids so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look please continue watching guys my hair is already washed and moisturized i'm going to be using my shine and jam my rat tail comb and my rubber bands to achieve this look so what i'm going to do is i'll start by sectioning the back you know from ear to ear just a straight line just exactly the way i'm doing once i'm done sectioning the line i'm just gonna take my shine and jam and make sure the line is really nice and clean or whatever and then i'm going to start sectioning the hair in two boxes so once i section one box i'm going to take my rubber band to hold it but i'm also going to use the rubber band for this style guys so this rubber band i'm just holding the hair right now because you know my hair is 4c i don't want to you know just section my hair and then lose the sections or whatever so this is what i do i section my hair and then i secure it with the rubber bands just to make sure i have really nice lines all the way through I have about 26 sections all over guys because I wanted to do like some medium large kind of box braids so this is the look that I was going for all right so I'm using this expression here this is the ultra braid 3x expression hair and this is 52 inches I'm using two packs of the 27 and one pack of the 613 so I wanted to do like some medium large braids so that's why I'm using you know three packs or whatever but you can use less you can use more it just depends on what size you want the braids to be gonna take my hair clips and hold the hair out of the way what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the rubber band out that you are using to hold the hair okay for the sections but you're not gonna throw that away sis because we're going to be using the same rubber band for this hairstyle okay anyway so you're just gonna take your shine and jam apply it to the hair making sure it's really nice and sleek or whatever and then I'm going to take the same rubber band that I took out guys the same rubber band that I was using to hold the hair I'm just going to use that rubber band to secure my hair guys making sure it's really nice and snug but not too tight that you have a headache you know nice and snug that it's giving you a really nice grip on the roots okay so i'm going to take the expression here guys so i'm going to do a smaller piece and a bigger piece just like i'm doing a basic a traditional box braids and then you're just going to place that on top of your natural hair where you have your rubber band and you're going to be using the smaller piece to go round just like one time like you're tying a little knot you're going into a circle kind of motion right there okay just going round one time and tuck your hair in guys so tuck that hair in and then i'm just going to start braiding down exactly the way i'm saying very very easy oh my gosh if you cannot grip the roots for nothing if you cannot do any of the tutorials any of the techniques that i've given you sis this one right here this one i mean <laughs> this is going to work give it a try it is going to work and especially if you want to do like small ones if you want to do like you know medium-sized ones it is going to work for you sis this braiding technique right here is tension free sis when i tell you you better not tie the rubber band way too tight on the bottom that way you do not hurt your scalp i mean this right here is going to look neat it's going to look good it actually lasts for a long time as well braid it all the way down and tie and not at the end that way it does not unravel I'm going to show you guys again so what you're gonna do is you're going to take your shine and jam apply it to the scalp and then you're going to take the same rubber band and secure the hair so making sure you're tying the rubber band tight but not too tight sis you're just gonna take the braiding hair so you're going to do like a traditional braid a smaller piece and a bigger piece okay and then you're just going to loop them together so the smaller piece is going to be used as one strand and then the other bigger piece is actually the two strands okay and then you're just gonna go around using the smaller piece i actually prefer taking the um the outer piece the outermost piece okay and then tucking your hair in with that piece right there and then start braiding down sis so tuck your hair in especially if you're 
using color just the way I'm doing. The most important part is just to make sure your hair is nice and tucked in. That way it does show a little peekaboo, but not too much, you know, where you're like, ooh, what, what is going on over here? Especially if your hair is a different color from the hair that you're using, it is actually very important for you to just make sure you tuck your hair in. I mean, if you try this technique, you're gonna be like, Tupo, where have you been? We're gonna be pulling up at the Christmas party like, but Okay, in this braids that I did by myself. <laughs> Why was two talking, sis? Have you subscribed to my channel? Don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what? Juicy! Yes, sis! Today's shout out goes to Francis Tara. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, sis. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for all the love. I really, really appreciate you. You are everyone today. Okay, sis. This hairstyle right here took me an hour to do. Very, very easy. Anybody can actually do this, but you know what? It's gonna take you a little longer. It's okay, it's okay since you're trying this for the first time, for the second time. It's gonna take you a little longer. Don't worry, don't sweat it. As long as you can get this done, you are good. And make sure you tuck your hair in, especially if you're using another color just the way I'm doing. If you're using black, you don't have to worry too much. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys again. I'm just gonna take my rubber band out, take the shine and jam, apply it to the scalp, making sure it's really nice and sleek or whatever. Taking the same rubber band and securing the hair. <laughs> Giving yourself a little tug, making sure it's tight, but not way too tight that it's gonna break your hair or give you a headache, okay? So I'm going to take the expression hair, guys. So I'm going to do a smaller piece and a bigger piece, just like I'm doing a basic a traditional box braids. All right, and then you're just gonna go round one time using the smaller piece, and then you're going to use the outermost piece, you know, the outermost strand on your left side, and tuck your hair in, guys. So tuck that hair in, and then start braiding down. This right here is the easiest technique, sis, you can ever do. for my sisters who cannot grip the roots this is for my sisters who are beginners in braiding so listen sis i got you you know i'm always here to give you the easy techniques making sure we're saving money and here honey when you do this braids right here by yourself people are going to be looking at you like sis who did your hair tie and knot at the end that way it does not unravel so this is as simple as it sounds very very easy i mean anybody can actually do this I decided I was gonna do some color, you know, I decided I was gonna do the 613 on the top right there, and then I was doing the 27 all over, you know, the hair, just to give myself a little bubble boom, a little oomph, a little, you know, pop, 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 pop. You know what it is by now, okay. Anyway, so that's all I'm doing right there, so I'm doing the same, same technique. Take my expression hair, taking a smaller piece and a bigger piece, just looping them together, just like your traditional braid. I'm just gonna take the expression hair, you know, and place it on top of my natural hair where I have the rubber band right secured. And then I'm going to go round like I'm tying a knot, like I'm going into a circle, you know, just one time using the outer strand to make sure I tuck my natural hair in. And then I'm just going to start braiding all the way down, sis. Very, very simple. <laughs> I love playing with some color or whatever, but this right here, ooh, child, I'm telling you, I am feeling this look right here even before it is done, honey. Yes, to the braids, okay. Oh my gosh, I am so hype about this hairstyle. You guys already know when I'm this hype, it means the hairstyle is easy. This hairstyle right here is so easy, and I am feeling this 27 and 613 situation going on. 
once i'm done braiding all the way down i'm just gonna take a little piece from the side tie a little knot making sure my hair does not unravel or anything like that take the shine and jam apply it to the scalp making sure it's really nice and sleek or whatever taking the same rubber band and securing the hair giving yourself a little tug making sure it's tight but not way too tight that it's gonna break your hair or give you a headache okay just gonna take the expression here you know and place it on top of my natural hair where i have the rubber band right secured and then i'm going to go round like i'm tying a knot like i'm going into a circle you know just one time using the outer strand to make sure i tuck my natural hair in and then i'm just going to start braiding all the way down and that's about it i mean this right here is so easy that even if you did not know how to braid my sis you can actually do this <laughs> take my scissors and cut all the flyaways you already know what it is just to make sure you know this hairstyle looks all the way legit or whatever and then i'm going to take my mousse okay making sure you know this hair is nice and laid all the flyaways are nice and laid or whatever using my coconut oil and jamaican black castor oil making sure my scalp is really nice and moisturized you guys already know how i feel about moisturizing your scalp when you are getting a protective style okay i'm going to be taking some hot water making sure i'm dipping the ends and using my towel to dry it be very careful you do not want to burn yourself or anything like that i'm done i'm just gonna take my kiss edge fix and make sure this baby hairs are nice and laid honey yes using the brush that i got from amazon you already know what it is oh bye now and then i'm taking my styling strips just to make sure everything is nice and laid sis that's about it and baby when i tell you this style came all the way through I am living for these braids right here. Oh my gosh, I am living for this 613 and 27 mixture. Honey, I'm telling you, this hairstyle right here came all the way through. Look at those braids. They look like traditional braids, honey. <laughs> Let me know if you guys are feeling the combo, the color combination right here, because sister, I am living for it right now. You know me, I gotta give you some styles here and there and look at this style right here. I am living for this half up, half down, sis. When I tell you, this bun situation is giving me life. And you know me, I cannot be the accessorizing queen without adding some accessories. So here I'm adding this gold accessories that I got from Amazon. You already know what it is by now. And bad, bad, it took this style all the way to boom, 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 100. <laughs> Let me know if this is going to be your next hairstyle right here because this is easy. All right, guys, my hair is already washed and moisturized. I'm going to be using my shine and jam in my rat tail comb. So what I'm going to do is I'll start by sectioning my hair in the back, just a straight line, just exactly the way I'm doing. And then I'll take my shine and jam just to make sure the line is nice and clean or whatever, okay? So I actually use two mirrors, one in the front and one in the back. And then I also go along with my fingers just to make sure I'm feeling it, just to see if it's nice and clean and straight or whatever. <laughs> The first section, I'm just gonna section it into three, and then I'll take my rubber bands just to hold the hair, guys. I'm not using rubber bands for this style. The rubber bands are just to hold the hair for right now, okay? So I'm just gonna place them once. I'm not even trying to tie them too tight or anything like that. Sectioning takes a longer time, so it takes me about 15 minutes to section my hair. But then um, once you do it a couple times, you guys are gonna get used to it, and it's gonna get easier, trust me, okay? I have 33 sections in my hair. I wanted them to be like medium sized kind of braids. Okay, sis? I'm gonna be using expression hair, and this is in color 30. 
I'm just taking it out of the pan. I'm going to fold it into two, just exactly the way I'm doing, and then I'm going to cut it, sis. Okay, so I'm using three pieces and then one from another pack. So I'm gonna, um, you know, feather the hair just cause I love feathering the hair. I feel like, you know, I'm just used to it at this point. But you know, for the bob, you really don't have to. Just gonna section the hair and then I'm going to take the rubber band out exactly the way I told you I was going to take the rubber bands out. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the um, shine and jam applied to my hair section the hair into three just exactly the way i'm doing and then i'm going to do a normal braid sis and then i'm um, making sure that the hair is not too tight because you want the crochet needle to go through but also you want the braiding hair to go through sis so you don't want to break your hair you don't want to have a headache you don't want to cause any tension because this style right here is tension free um rubber band free how you're gonna section the hair you're just gonna do like you're doing a normal braid you know three equal pieces okay so you're gonna take the smaller part that's what's gonna go in with the crochet needle just gonna take a little bit of shine and jam apply to the hair and then I'll take my crochet needle place it in okay place it into the hair going upwards just exactly the way I'm doing open the crochet latch okay place the hair on the crochet latch close it and then pull it out sure it's nice and straight and equal or whatever and then you're just going to cover your natural hair with the top part just exactly the way I'm doing so you're gonna take the remaining part of the hair the, the, um, the other piece the bigger piece you're just going to place it on top right there and making sure that you're holding it really nice and tight on the bottom that way it does not slip okay and it also has a nice grip to it and I'm just gonna start braiding it down you actually have a little peekaboo with your natural hair but not too too much just enough for you to look really nice and cute or whatever. So this is how you do this cute little style. It takes me about 15 minutes to section my hair and then like, you know, 45 minutes to do my hair, to braid my hair, sis, okay? Just gonna go down to where I want my length to stop. And I'm just gonna take a little piece from the um, braiding hair, a little piece from the braiding hair, and I'm just gonna tie this four or five times, and that's about it. I want it to be nice and secure. That way, I don't have to work twice, sis, okay? All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you guys again, right? First of all, you're just gonna take the rubber band out, okay? Take your shine and jam, apply it to the scalp or whatever, and then you're going to section your hair into three. Just braid like a normal braid, guys, with your own hair, just a normal, normal braid, making sure it's not tight on the bottom. You're just gonna section your hair like you're going to do a traditional braid. The little piece, taking your needle, placing it in, okay? Crochet needle, placing it in. And then you're going to take um, your, your expression hair, place it on the latch, close the latch, pull it out, making sure it's nice and equal on both sides. And then cover your natural hair with the expression hair. So the next part, you're going to take the other piece from the expression hair, place it on top, and just start braiding down. Very easy, very beginner friendly. Anybody can actually do this. Is. Even if you don't know how to braid, this right here works like a charm every single time. I promise you, if you do this, it is going to work, sis. You just gotta have the patience. You just gotta have the patience and you just gotta be willing to try, sis, okay? All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you again in the front. Take the rubber band out, right? Apply some shine and jam to your hair, okay? To your natural hair. Section your hair into three. Braid like a normal braid with your natural hair. And then you're going to take your crochet needle, placing it in, and then taking your expression hair, placing it on the needle, close the latch, okay? Pull it out. And then you're going to make sure it's nice and equal or whatever. The way you're placing your, your hair on the top right here, it's going to be hiding your natural hair, okay? And then you're just gonna take the remaining part of the expression hair and placing it on the top right there. And then you're just going to braid it down just as simple as ABC. Why am I still talking, sis? Have you subscribed to my channel? Don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what? Juicy! Yes, sis! Today's shout out goes to Anne A. Brown. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, sis. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for rocking with me. very very easy i mean anybody can actually do this and you can rock this all year round summer spring fall winter i mean come on miss two boys out here giving you all these easy tutorials okay a little 
people were asking me to do color 30. So I was like, you know what? And a lot of people wanted to see the same style, the same method that I did with the purple um, braids. They wanted to see if another color is gonna work and how number 30 is going to look. So I was like, I am down, sis. I am down to do another braid version, okay? I love this braid, sis. I love how they come through. I love how they look. I love how nice and cute these braids are. Anyway, so once I'm done braiding, I'm just gonna take my mousse. You know what it is, just to make sure my hair is laid all the way down or whatever. And then I'm just gonna take my Jamaican black castor oil mixed in with my coconut oil. You know what the drill is, making sure your hair is moisturized, sis. That's the most important thing you wanna do if you get protective styles, okay? And then I'm going to be using this Kiss Edge Fixer and Bebe. We're about to lay this baby hairs down. And you already know I like this Edge brush from Amazon, okay? Now to the styling. So we're just gonna take these accessories that I got from Amazon. You already know what it is by now. And what I'm doing is I'm just gonna go where I have the little knot at the end. And I'm just gonna place these accessories really nice and tight and then cut that with the scissors, okay? And I'm just gonna go around and do that with all of them. And bebe, when I tell you, this style came all the way through. Yes, sis. I am feeling this 30 with some gold accessories. I am feeling this bob. Let me know if you guys are rocking with this bob right here. I am feeling it, I am loving it. Let me know if you guys are loving it as well. I gotta add some more accessories cause I'm the accessorizing queen or whatever. And bebe, it took the style all the way to boop, 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 100. And I gotta throw some styles here and there, everywhere, and bebe. These styles came all the way through as well. And I am loving this color, people. Let me know if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying number 30. If you want something light, quick and easy to go, baby, this is it. Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for commenting. Thank you so much for sharing my videos. Oh my gosh, you guys are the real MVPs. I am nothing without y'all. share this with your cousin your bestie your mama and your aunt because sharing is caring and i will catch you guys in my next one bye